Hey everyone, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. We are going to begin the next stage! Chapter 1-2! This is quite a stark difference from the original uh, stage. We're in the mountains instead of underground. I guess that doesn't make a difference. It's just sometimes they like to hide point blocks there. Uh, give me that mushroom. Thank you. Whoops. That stuff always comes back to hit me. You have to be careful where you flip. If there's a place where there, you flip and there's no ground, uh, it'll uh, make you hit the 2 button real quick to jump, otherwise you'll fall. Oh, these are hilarious. <laughs> they just grab you and flip you up. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, you landed midair and... Oh, you're just on top of this. We have to flip to get to this because there's something in the way. And then we just jump on the blue switch and something happens. So now this is going to let us get up on top of here. I don't know what's the point of making them blue and red. They do the same thing regardless, but... I don't know, just for variety's sake, I guess? Uh, what do we have up here? Just a coin block. Anything there? No. And where are we? Yeah, these coin blocks are not visible in 2D, so you have to go into 3D. See, I'll just demonstrate here. See, both of those coin blocks are gone, but if you hit them in 3D, uh, you can get more of the coin blocks. And for the first part of the game, uh, coins really are in short supply. Ah, didn't get that 45 points for being stylish. Oh well. The way you avoid these things is you just flip into 3D and run up. Uh, I actually thought that you had to jump over them in 2D and take a hit from time to time. It's possible to jump over them, it's just difficult. And I almost didn't flip out of 3D in time. What have we here? We have... What's this? And you, just like in uh, the other Paper Mario games, there's stuff hidden in the background. So what's in here? It's empty and there's sweat for no reason. Uh, what's going on? I thought there was something here. Oh, I probably just need to flip into 3D. Yeah, that's it. stand next to him and, and do what he says. And there, now we're back in 2D and he made it. Hmm. 
Red. Are you by any chance a Pokemon trainer by the name of Red? Wait, what? Basically, just answer whatever his color is. Make him happy. Personally, I like green over red. But sometimes you have to lie to get ahead in society. That's just the way life is. Huh? Where's our red bridge? Oh, that was easy. Now, where does this bridge go? And just to make it clear, you can't flip, uh, to cheat it. But, hey, this looks like town. It's got a shop, it's got a lot of things. Mushroom to get our health back up and always grab them because they're worth a thousand points, and a thousand points is a lot at this point in the game. Hey, there's a shop here, and we actually have coins to buy stuff. A few of the items are different, and they're cheaper. As a matter of fact, there's uh, once you beat chapter one, there's a money trick you can do where you can buy. Uh, you can buy shroom shakes in uh, this place and sell them at the shop in uh, Flipside, and you can make uh, a 40 coin profit for every uh, full set of items you sell. Basically, if something doesn't feel right, flip. Uh, anyway, I forgot to sh I forgot to show you something. Uh, there's a list. He'll give you a list, I think, of, uh... Oh, he doesn't give you a list of, uh, what you get for hitting, uh, certain shot points. That's odd. They do in the other game. Uh, I'll provide you with a list of what, uh, you get at shot point intervals in the, uh, video description or something. See, they hide stuff behind blocks. They do this a lot. See those 16 coins? If you flip in a bonus room, there's going to be uh, two more. So you have the 4x4x3 four by four by uh, uh, set of coins here. So, instead of getting 16 coins, we got 48, which is awesome. That's so much money at this point in the game, but due to a certain side quest that appears uh, pretty soon, I am more interested in saving coins, mainly for the map side quests. And here's another secret pipe, although this one's pretty obvious. Oh, flops. Easy to go around. And what's in here? Nothing so far. Hey, that star on the wall looks suspicious. There's a secret door here. And if you haven't figured it out, flipping into 3D doesn't do anything in this room. So, what have we here? We have a giant treasure chest. Oh. And a locked door. But that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Super Paper Mario. Next time, we're going to figure out how to get out of here.